Look, now the player uh, take damage. 60, 40, now the progress bar um, turns yellow. 20, it turns red. And when it's zero, you can reset the level like that. So let's get started. So this is like a blind project of third person template uh, in Iron Engine 5.3. There's a basic movement and some kind of characters here and a map also so the first thing that we have to do is to create a variable inside our um, third person character just click the little plus icon here and let's name it current salt okay and set the type of this one to float or you can also do integer but let's do on float Create another one. Let's call it max health. Okay. Gonna click compile here. Then we can set our max health and our current health value around here. So we go to the max health and set it to let's say 100. And on even begin play, just drag it off a little bit further and we set the current health. Uh, we can hold alt on your keyboard and drag the variable into the graph or you can just drag it and set current health to the max health run here okay now you're good to go so now let's create a user interface then go to the content browser and click on new folder let's name it blueprints Create another one and let's call it UI. Then right click and uh, go into the user interface and create a widget blueprint here. Let's name it WBP underscore player hub. Okay. And drag off the canvas panel here. So make a screen here. And let's create a progress bar. Just type in progress bar here. And now we will see like this little cube little square or little rectangle you just click on the anchors and hold control on the keyboard and uh bottom left corner of your screen now you just just um modify the alignment value then i'll make it to our 1.25 okay so let's set the size let's say to 300 and the size one is Make it 65 a bit bigger. I just play with the value, okay? So let's try it out. You can go to this uh, percent and then just play with the value and test the UI, test the progress bar. For me, I'm gonna um, change the background image to a little bit darker and lower the opacity and also set the fill image to like. A little bit transfer. I'm gonna make it uh, green for now, and let's name it PG for uh, PB for progress bar underscore help. Okay. Now we just have to create the widget around here, but first we have to get the reference to our play character first. So we can uh, create a new variable. Let's call it player reference of type bp underscore third person character here and we can um set it on the event construct to uh get player character and cast to bp third person character and right click on it and convert to pure cast and just plug it in the third person character on here or you can check for success first to make it uh, a little bit sever, I guess. Then uh, we have to do with the event tick. Here, we just set the PB Hulk. Get it? You can hold Control or Get here, and type set percent. Okay, set percent. Um, and then we just drag our play reference. Then right click on it and convert to free get so we're gonna check for is fast or not then we're gonna get our current health 
and get our max health okay and then we just um you fight you fight bot failure and now you're good to go okay so now um i'm gonna set like the when the health reaches 50 or below the color of this progress bar uh, turn zero uh, turn red or yellow just click on this fill color and opacity and click on bind create binding here we can um get our current help of the reference and check if it's below sorry you can actually just select color here If it's less of equal less less or equal to zero point five sorry fifty I'm gonna make it like um a little bit yellowish here make it darker and for false it uh, remains on clean and let's make another one for rat I guess So here I'm gonna copy the hex in here and paste on false and check it if it's below 25. I say it's gonna be red. Okay, should be good to go. I'm gonna add some text here. Just should be enough. And let's make it is variable and set the name to let's say tb underscore health point. Oh, sorry, not tb, but txt. Okay, stands for text. And we're gonna go back to our event tick and set our health point. Let you set text text. Yeah. And let's format the text to current health um slash max this can be anything you want but make sure that you have the curly curly braces curly braces you know there's like two um pin around here and, and you can just plug it in like this okay but this eventually will uh make your text um display a uh, float floating failure that's not what we want i'm gonna um i'm gonna try to uh, round it to integer first so then go to two text float and i uh, use grouping to false and uh, maximum fraction that gets to zero and let's make the integer digits to three just plug into the current and just copy paste it and plug it to the max and also to the max health here okay we are freaking good to go just have to create the uh, widget on your uh, screen. Go to our BP chat person connector and on here, create widget. WBP player hot and just add to player screen. Uh, you can actually just um, yeah. choose this one, but let's leave it for now. I'm gonna create a new variable. Let's call it player hot reference. Just plug it in, plug it in like that. And good to go. Let's try it out. Then you got 100% uh, health points. So let's implement a fire. So such player can take damage from it. Okay. You can go to standard content and go on blueprint. You're going to get this blueprint effect underscore fire. Let's try it out. I'm gonna open that up. Or we'll go to viewport and add a spear collision. Make it bigger. You can um, uncheck hidden in game, so I can check it out. The size, you know, it's too big, I guess. Or fifty, I guess. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna scroll down to the collision presets and then make it custom and uh, ignore all of the uh, responses except for the pawn. Our, uh, this pawn is our character. It's, it, it's for character and something like that, our pawn. Yeah. And go to event begin of lab and on other actor, you can cast to BP underscore third person character. And you can um, take damage. Okay, so let's go back to our PP person character, and we're gonna go on functions. Take damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, create a new input here. One, and one input. Make it float, and let's call it damage. We're gonna set the damage. Oh, sorry. We're gonna set the current health. Minus the damage. Okay. Subtract it by the damage. And set it to current health. But this can lead to negative value. So we have to climb it. Climb float. Okay. Should be minimum of zero and the maximum is the max health. Okay, then we have to check if the player died dies. Just by uh, less or equal to zero. Yeah. So for now, let's restart the game. Whenever the uh, the health reaches zero, so we can do execute console command and restart level. If I'm not mistaken, just let's try it out. Go back to our effect fire and the whole tech damage here. And the damage should be like, I guess, 20, 20 should be good. Let's save that. Look, now the player uh, take damage. 60, 40, now the progress bar um, turns yellow. 20, it turns red. And when it's zero, you can reset the level like that. I think that's it. It's very simple and straightforward, right? Um, let me know if you have any comments or suggestion or ideas. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Guys.